Hello dear ones, I am Alice and I have an interesting experience to tell you about that just now happened to me. It happens sometimes when I'm driving or sitting in meditation or just walking around doing chores at home during the daytime that I have a sudden uh, feeling that I want to that I'd like to fall asleep, a feeling of uh, like uh, um, sleepiness rolls over me. And I've begun wondering, uh, two years ago I started wondering what these feelings were caused by. I just had a feeling that, that they won't be there in the future and that if I could figure out what was going on, then I could eliminate that kind of sleepiness for good. So. Um, I took a look today and, and I've been trying and trying but it's very hard to resist that, that sudden impulse to just, just rest and sleep. You know, very difficult for me. I've been trying really hard. And so today was my first instance of success. And so I was driving along, coming over here to sit for a while and, and, and one of the waves rolled over me. So, so I, fortunately I was right nearly here so I stopped. and I. I really felt into that wave of, of, of deep forgetfulness that, that rolled over me like that. I really felt into it and held it in my awareness for a minute. And when I did that, what seemed to have no message at all in it, just, just the notion of sleeping, dissolved, it sort of dissolved like, like a little piece of... Um, you know, hard bread or, or it just dissolved in that awareness. It changed into a communication. And the communication was from somebody else. Whether I knew that person or not, I don't know. But it was from another person. I could hear the tone of voice of the person. And, and it sounded like mainly just composed mainly of like the third chakra desire world with just one short um, mental um, um, like message in it, very short mental message and a lot of emotion in it, a lot of um, emotion. And it was followed by, it seemed like these waves of sleepiness came one after the other, following each other like a, through the newosphere of Earth, <laughs> like a train of forgetfulness or a train of, of of sleepiness or <laughs> like no dose, you know, new spirit, no, do, uh, no, the opposite. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And so, so the next one that came through, I was ready at this point. I was going, this is the way to figure out what's going on. So the next one that came through, the, it, it swept over me and I felt so much like physically sleeping and I just held that feeling of sleepiness in my mind, deep sleepiness, it's like a command to fall asleep. And the same thing happened. It dissolved the, 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 the forgetfulness quality of the thought form dissolved into a, a brief command or a brief message that was very em laden with the emotion of the desire world. Isn't that something? I mean, it's such a relief to finally have an answer to this question. Why would I suddenly fall asleep? I always felt compelled to do so. and I don't care for compulsion. I like knowledge. I like waking up. I like awareness and I like the, the expansive feeling of, of this new age of new creation. So just to let you know if you sit when you feel like snoozing suddenly like snoozing and and pay very close attention you may also log on to the forgetfulness thought cloud of the newest sphere <laughs> so addendum could it be that these waves of forgetfulness constitute or are some part of the veil of forgetfulness that is spoken ab ab about in many theologies? Just a thought, maybe that's it. For, for instance, I remember talking to the Davis some time ago about um, 
actually I talked to the nature spirits about the devas and the nature spirits were saying that the devas had created the veil of forgetfulness so that human beings when they cross between the physical world back to the astral plane and from the astral plane back to the physical world would not suffer so much uh, with the notion that they would they would pass on again or that they had or that they had had recently had physical form they the devas in other words did this uh, out of compassion for hum the short-lived human race uh, now it's not that we have to be short-lived but but because of the the age of the fall we have been rather short-lived uh, in recent times so 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 because we incarnate over and over again the veil of forgetfulness um, soothes our hearts by helping us to forget the pain that we went through and the, the sense of separation we had in a prior lifetime. Uh, so, so how might that work then? Uh, as you know that there is a great deal of societal repression around the thought of, of death these days, at least in the United States. People just don't talk about it. They don't like to, to look at it or think about it, not in, in a realistic way. So as soon as people pass on, they do their best to forget about it. And, and this is understandable because of the pain of separation from loved ones that is involved in death. Okay, so it could be because the devas and the nature spirits are involved in the fashioning of the astral plane that they have devised uh, a veil made of the repression, uh, the repression of memories of death that somehow clears the minds of the people passing from one state or phase to the other. It clears them of these memories. So just have an open, neutral mind about all the thoughts that you experience or that I experience, whether they are from my own mind or just galumphing in from other people's minds, I think. And that, for me at least, will help eliminate this, this veil of forgetfulness. That's my current working hypothesis. And then I'd like to close with a visual image. If you could imagine yourself standing at the seashore on a, a calm, sunny day with the beautiful ocean waves coming in, bright blue and very transparent, and curling up onto the seashore near your feet, and then receding back to the ocean, leaving behind a little, uh, a little sea foam, a little sea foam that's a little bit more um, fluffy than water. Somehow it's there along the shore, all lining up the shore. And, and that sea foam reminds me of this, this, these waves of forgetfulness that sometimes come rolling through my mind. They're not pure and clear like mental thoughts. Uh, they're not, not joyful like warm Pacific ocean waters. They're more like um, the staleness of, of, uh, of what, is, what is not that. The staleness of something a little bit off, like the sea foam that stays on the shore when the tide recedes into the ocean. Uh, so so it's, it's a part of the water, but it's an unusual part, you know. It's the part that gets left behind by the flow. <laughs> So, so beware the sea foam, but take a dip in the ocean, I say. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs>